Hello everyone and welcome to this video. What we're going to be doing now is to basically expand on this flow and now start using variables so we don't have to write that piece of expression everywhere we want to reference the attachment. So we've got our HTTP request and that is feeding the rest of our actions and we're now basically going to remove this bit over here and just take into account and remember that there's another piece that's missing from the from the actual display part where that's a base 64 to binary encoding so that's very important so let's take that out of the actual sending email and let's go and initialize a variable so variables are hugely handy little things and in this case we're going to now initiate a variable and then just reference it throughout the app so Let's call this our attachment. So this is just basically a description for you to make it easier to reference and to see what this flow is doing. Um, the actual variable name we're putting in here, so it's called that var attachment. It is an object. It's going to be an object, it's not one yet. And this is now where we need to tell flow to go and fetch that attachment from the HTTP request and then convert it to binary from base64 so base64 to binary then the two brackets and then inside of those brackets we have the trigger multipart body um, with a zero and then open square bracket to go and fetch the dollar content property from the multipart body Right, so there we've got that, and in the attachment content section, we can now reference that variable. I've seen that flow sometimes um, don't quite, well, doesn't quite get it right to understand that that variable is applicable to this field over here. And if that does happen, you can just go and say, go and fetch me the var attachment variable and uh, this var attachment needs to be identical to this attachment name over there and if you click on OK just write it into this field and to test this we're simply going to go open up Postman which we discussed in the previous video lovely little thing send Postman and we've now sent that file make sure that your, your file is still there and if we now open up my email, well first let's go and have a look at flow and make sure that ran 10 seconds ago, it did and there's the mail that it sent so everything is looking good if I open up my mail, it's the last mail that I got and it's got that attachment, it is looking good um, the binary conversion is working and the email functionality is now able to reference that Right, so that's a nice and short video. Uh, the previous one, or the next one, we're going to start looking at OneDrive and all of these sort of other goodies, and we're still going to be building on the same flow that we've built up to now. So thank you very much, and uh, please join us for the next one. Thanks. Cheers. Bye-bye.